Hello everybody and welcome to Resonance Arcade. I'm Chris and I'm going to be taking you through mission 9 of Metal Gear Solid 5 and I'm going to be going through the uh, where to find the six prisoners. Now the prisoners are scattered across the map, I'm not doing anything else in this uh, particular playthrough. Uh, they're scattered across the map, there's uh, a couple that roam, uh, there are a couple that are time dependent and there are a couple that, uh, that are just kind of static in camps etc. So the first guy is, first of all, underneath the bridge, right in the centre of the uh, of the mission, as you can see in front of me. You just need to full turn him off. He will just keep wandering down this river, um, so it's probably better that you start at the uh, that start at the mission start point that I started at, which is next to the bridges. Uh, the second guy is on the desert. Uh, it's actually a girl on the desert, rather. Um, on top of that as well, there's another guy near the desert that's going to get killed pretty quickly. Now, before I'm going to do that, in order to succeed in the mission, you have to falter, or you have to destroy at least one tank. So I'm just going to go and do that now. I'm going to uh, just falter this guy down here that's coming 300 metres away. So I'm going to place a... I think I'll place an EMN mark here. EMN mine on the path. And then just hide a little bit. Hopefully D Dog won't give me away. Now whenever you uh, disable a tank, the turret turns around. It usually turns around to the left, I've noticed. Uh, so I've run round to the right. To full turn it off. Now that's it. Pretty much, uh, the, the mission will succeed now, no matter what else happens within the uh, within the time limit. So I don't need to worry about any of that. I can just now go and get all of the prisoners. You see where I started, where all those cracks are, uh, where I've just tagged A. Now I've put some uh, markers on the map, A, B, and C, so I can kind of navigate easier. I'm not the best driver in the world, as you will find out shortly. But uh, at least I get there. Now you can also use um, D Walker if you want as a buddy. I've been using that previously to do this mission, but I decided that I prefer to have uh, D Dog so he highlights all the enemies around in the map as I'm driving around. And he also finds the prisoners as well if you get close to them, but I do know where they are at, uh, at certain points or whenever I reach them anyway. So instead of going for the one in the desert, what I'm going to do now is, well, first of all, I'm just going to get this tank just for a little bit more XP. I've started up with a decoy this time. I'm upgraded pretty far in this. I think I'm on about mission 30. About, about mission 30 actually. That gives me a little bit more money for the end of the, uh, end of the mission. I'm also going to extract all four of the guards that are searching for one of the prisoners. That is another mission objective as well here, so we'll see that shortly. Again, just a bit more XP. Put an EMN bind down. Not entirely sure what EMN stands for. It's EMP, isn't it? Sorry. Just the pace I'd expect. Electro electromagnetic mine. There we go. I do know what it stands for. You see, the turret turns around to the left again, so I'll just go down, go around to the right of the vehicle and full turn it off. You've got other targets closing in. You can check them So now I'm going to go and do the guy in the desert. He'll be one. Uh, sorry, the girl in the desert. I'll be. She'll be wandering around uh, on the desert. It's pretty easy to see her if you get there at a certain point. If you get there a bit late, there she is. If you get there a bit late and she's not walking, she's up near the tree to the top right there, as you can see. Uh, there. Top right of my screen now. She she just sits there until the end of the uh, end of the mission. But I got her before she got there. So now I'm gonna go and get the hardest one. Now this some of you may choose to go and uh, get this prisoner first. I've been practicing this a fair amount, so um, I, I know about when he's going to die. Uh, there is a time limit on this this particular prisoner. As you'll 
you'll see there's some guards walking around up here. D-Dog will highlight them in a second. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You could stealth it, but I prefer to uh, use a, as you can see, throw a stun grenade. And then use my UN Arc NL to just blast them all. And then extract them. CQC there. Let's track these guys first before they wake up again, just in case they do. Plus, obviously, building up the base. Extract the last guy first. I want to run away from the prisoner briefly just so I can go and get my uh, truck. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to go back and get my truck anyway. He's coming too. Roger that. Now the time limit does run out on me here, but as I, as I said, it doesn't matter when you're doing this particular uh, particular objective. There he goes. I wish that the lights on the trucks would stay off. Subject is in. I'm always turning them off. I'm sure. I, I'm not sure if they uh, alert enemies or not, but you would think they would. So I turn them off all the time, and it's, it's bright enough, isn't it? This is where you see some skills. It's probably about the most elegant way I've driven down this. Uh, particular mountain before. Usually, I mean, a few times I've flown off the end and exploded. There you go. Wonderful. Straight into a rock. And another rock. Probably. I've come to the conclusion that it's easy to do a voiceover after I've uh, recorded a, a video than actually try and do one. Uh, do a let's play as I'm recording, uh, as I'm playing. I don't tend to be able to speak much while I'm uh, while I'm playing. I'm too preoccupied. Now, there's a prisoner in the right-hand side up here in this camp. He's pretty easy to get to. Um, you can. There's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, but I, actually, first, I'm going to get the guy who's in the. Again, this is a timed uh, prisoner. You see, there's a, a marker f about 260 meters away. The green marker. That's a truck, uh, sorry, a four-wheel drive that's been uh, that's been moving across the map for a while. You'd have heard uh, Miller announce it a while back. So now, I'll wait for this guy to come in. Just uh, snipe the guys as they get out of the truck. Again, you could use an EMN mine. You could throw a grenade. You can alert them, but I want to. I want to stealth it. Hence, why all my weapons are tranquilized. I've also got silencers and everything as well. Boss, I have a report from the so that's him done there. Now it's to go and get the guy in this uh, camp. Now this camp could catch you out a few times. Oh, there's a few areas in this camp that can catch you out. I'm just going to drive a little bit closer to the uh, to the camp. Again, just be very careful you don't get spotted by an enemy if you want to try and stealth it. There's a crack right in front of you here. Boss, need a little extra firepower? We spotted a Soviet weapons transport truck. Apparently it's cargo... The first time I came into this camp I didn't notice this crack so I ended up going in from the front way but... You know, when you've played the game enough. I've got an 8x scope as well on my uh, sniper rifle. On the M2000. We recently opened up the uh, tranquilizer version of that. One in the chamber. Again, there's a short way to get this this prisoner. Yeah, he 
you can fault on this guy because no one no one's around over this end at the moment. And then the there's some steps that go down here now. A few times I've been caught out uh, by subject on board. Just running down. Now some guys that are stood at the door at the other end, but sometimes they're looking in. You see, I'm trying to to cling the wall, but it's not doing it. So. So yeah, just make sure you're careful about coming through there. Now, I, I waste a decoy here. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but uh, you don't need to use this decoy as long as you're careful about, you know, coming in and opening the door. Previously, when I've come in here, there's been a couple of guys inside. There's no way to eliminate it now. Head for the not at the moment, so it's actually a lot easier. Boss, we have new targets. Check your eye droid for the details. I don't think Miller realises what I'm doing. I said in a minute he just starts stressing a little bit. Some minor metal while we're here. Again, resist the temptation to run out. Those guys out there might see you. <coughs> the quickest way to get them out, full ton. Don't need to bother with anything else. Just get out and try and get the last prisoner. He got stuck there, so that's why I did a little bit of a dive. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. So the last prisoner is at the palace, the ruined palace. Again, it's quite easy to get to, but there's a, it's, it can be quite tricky um, to make sure you don't get spotted. I parked my car, uh, parked my, my car near the crack so I can just run towards it, but I forgot by the time I got out of here. Not that you need to use the crack to get down, I realised as well. So again, just be careful you don't get spotted on the way out. Ruin all that hard work. probably do this quicker with D Walker, he is a lot quicker than your truck, but as I said, I prefer to make sure I know where the enemies are. Sometimes they can be moving in you know, places that you don't expect. And I think I'm using the um, four-wheel drive from Afghanistan here as well. It's slightly faster, slightly more durable than the Africa one. I, I went the wrong way here, uh, don't do that. It's not, uh, not recommended. Wonderful. So I did this in a roughly 17 minutes, this whole thing. I'm sure speedrunners can do this a lot quicker. Plan the route a bit better. Um, know the maps off by heart for example, know all the routes, know every single rock and how to exploit it, but that isn't what this is about, this is just telling you how to do it. And obviously I'm playing this on PC as well, hence why the camera movement's quite, uh, quite, you know, rapid in comparison to using an analog stick and using mouse and keyboard. Oh, nearly hit a rock again. Now, I have been trying this particular, this is a, a, a quite a difficult mission to get everything in, uh, in one. There, I'm sure there's a way to plan it so you can, you can stealth everything, you can fault and everything, and you can complete every skill, uh, sorry, every, uh, every objective in the mission. But it's very difficult, and I just thought I'd show the, the location of all the prisoners. Again, by now, I mean, you could have left the guy on the desert uh, until now. You could have planned, I could probably have planned this a little bit better, because uh, they would have just been behind, not that tree on the right there, but one on the left. It's out of shot. That was me being an idiot, and accidentally. Oh no, actually, you know, I actually cut out so I could, um, I could inflate that dummy, the, um, the decoy that I set, I threw in the other base. 
but I decided to, uh, decided to do that before I came into this area so I could reuse decoys if I need to. Now again, I'm quite lucky in the way that this this ends up because the some of the guards are asleep. Three of the guards are asleep, in fact, and a lot of the others are miles away. After I finish this video, I do actually uh, go through and, and take this entire camp out and with stealth as well. I don't I don't get any alerts, so that's why I'm highlighting everybody. But, as I said, the intention of this video is just to show you where the prisoners are. So there's the last prisoner. Number six. So, I mean, if you plan it right, you could probably do it all in the in the time limit. I'm not sure if you could do everything, though. I mean, that would be pushing it quite a lot, wouldn't it? He was a good soldier. Right, so there's three guys asleep in there. There's no one over there, there's hardly anyone in the buildings, and there's basically just two guys to take out. Maybe three. So I always shoot guys with um, helmets on in the arm, and with the M2000, they tend to... They tend to um, fall pretty quickly. Uh, with the, uh, the other tranquilized sniper rifle, can't remember the exact name of it, um, begins with that. It it takes them a while to, to drop. I actually think I've got armor penetration with the M2000 as well now, so I could probably start um, shooting people in the head again, but it would still take two shots to take the helmet off. Unless I up my armor penetration even more. So you said I've been quite lucky here. As I said, it's there's no enemies around at all. I can just literally drop him and fault on him, and that's it. That's it done. So thank you very much everyone for watching. Uh, if you're interested in anything we do, we do uh, a show on Wednesday nights at 7.30 UK time. And it's a talk game talk show. And apart from that, visit us on YouTube, etc. See you later.